Welcome to the Daily App Show, iPad edition. My name is Jared, and today we're going to take a look at Instapaper. Instapaper is an application that allows you to view and read websites that you had saved to read later. And you may have seen Instapaper, the name before, as it has been heavily integrated into a lot of Twitter clients, uh, into web browsing software, also into RSS feed readers. It's a very easy way for you to tag an individual website or article and say I'm gonna read this later and then it makes it easy for you to do that so before we go into the feature set here let me go and show you a couple places where you might find that if I go into Safari for example and I'm on a website like for example Vimeo and I like this because Instapaper has the option to add a bookmark bookmarklet that loads a little bit of JavaScript and then also will create that link. You can go into your bookmarks and as you can see here I've got a read later and if I tap on read later, well let's go to uh, something and tag it to read later. So let's go to this tilt and shift critical mass video. And I don't have time to watch this right now but I want to watch it later. So I go here, I hit read it later and you can see Instapaper saved it. It closes that page and takes me right back to the website that I was on and I can continue browsing or doing whatever I needed to do. If I'm in an application like NewsRack, for example, which I use to read my RSS feeds and uh, perhaps I'm, you know, scanning around um, and I come across, you know, something photography related and let's just say for example it's this entry right here and I don't have time to read this right now I know it's gonna be a great article but I don't have time to read this article I simply come up here I choose Instapaper and because I had entered my username and password in the settings in this application it will go ahead and add this to Instapaper so let's go ahead and do that you can see it just saved it and now if I go out of the application and go back into Instapaper, it will go and load in those websites that I had recently just tagged to read later. So you can see up here, it's loading in the It's Guest Blog Wednesday that I just had saved and then also that video on Vimeo. So now I can come in here and I can tap on this and I can actually read this article um, and then if I don't get a chance to read the whole thing I could save it and read it later. So I've got the images loading, the text that's loading and everything right here. I can star this to add it as a favorites. I could trash it if I got done reading the article and I don't want to save it anymore. I could change the font size and color and all kinds of stuff here so that I can read this a little bit better, even change the brightness. And then I can also move this to a folder, share it with someone else, or open it in a browser. So this application makes it really easy for you to save articles to read later. Essentially, it's kind of like if you were reading the newspaper and there were certain articles that you wanted to read later, so you either fold it over the ear of the newspaper page or you tore the page out and set it aside so you could read it later. That's what Instapaper is. It's an easy way for you to get to your articles that you want to read later. So over here, of course, we could create folders so that we can set specific folders. Maybe I can have one for photography, one for website design, and one for business so that I can organize them. Under settings here, I could turn my light interface into a dark interface, turn rotation on or off, pagination, share it with my Tumblr or Twitter account, or install the Read It Later in Safari, which is the first option that I use, that little bookmarklet that was in, um, in Safari. I would then need to also create an account so that it can save my information as well. So Instapaper, a great application, recommend that you give it a try. It's a great way to organize all of your articles and everything that you want to read later. So thanks for checking it out. See you next time.